How is it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you every single scam that is possible in Adopt Me so far. Now keep in mind some of these are pretty sophisticated and they actually require several people. But I don't want you guys to get scammed so let's just go ahead and get right into this because a lot of people have been getting scammed. So... Obviously, some of the more simple scams is basically where someone is just like saying trade. Put a pet. All right. And so now that he's put a pet, I'm going to say, okay. Except I give really, really legend. All right, he already accepted. Look at it. scammed. All right, see that? Look at it. that's how easy he's been scammed. So that's scam number one. So we are gonna trade him back and give him his pet back. So that's number one. That's pretty easy, so don't fall for that. People say, oh, I'll give you this. And um, later, they don't. So, scam number one. Now, scam number two. Basically, this one is a little bit more elaborate. So, let's say that uh, someone is trading something. Let's say that... Uh, some I don't even know who would be trading something, but let's just say pretend someone is offering me a trade, right? And they offer me I really need like an example, so we're just gonna give we're gonna trade somebody. Alright, so like we put a really good pet in and we say, Okay, I only need one more albino neon and i offer let's just say mega neon dragon all right so let's say that they actually put in the mega neon dragon all right so let's just say this is all hypothetical so pretend that she has one and she puts it in the trade right and then we accept the trade and now i have the mega neon basically where this scam comes into play is she's going to have to trade someone to get the mega to get the neon albino and basically you offer them something that's really good value and then you have a friend come up and offer them a pet that you that they have and then it's kind of elaborate but it's pretty like it it's pretty hard to actually explain even but um let's just say that uh, she thinks I'm flexing um, alright, so let's say I want this Neon Dragon, right? So let's just say that I have my friend come up and offer for the Neon Dragon. And basically, let's say that they offer something that's not really that rare, like a Mega Neon Monkey or a Mega Neon Buffalo. And what I'll do is I'll say, oh, I'm looking for Mega Neon Buffalo or Mega Neon Monkey. And then... He's going to want to offer. So it's like intuition, you know. It's basically offering someone a really good offer that they can't refuse. And having your friend come in and basically manipulate the trade. So that's trade scam number two. Now a lot of people really... Like I've seen people fall for that one. But a lot of people aren't going to understand that. So imagine that you're offering someone something for two times the value, right? Let's say that you are offering them that. But you say that you need a particular pet. And you have your friend come in, offer them that pet for something that they already have, like that dragon. But you never give them the what you were offering. You just take the, what you want off them, and that's it. So that's scam number two. Now, another scam that people do is basically loaning scams. They will say that, uh, can I borrow a pet? I'll give back. <clears throat> All 
See, no one's falling for that one because it's a very common scam. Look at Oi, he'll go with it. Oi, I need a pet. Well, trade. I know, scam. See, this guy knows. Give me pet. Oh my god, TY for not scamming. <laughs> I have a kangaroo. Oh, that's classic. That's actually not a scam. Well, I guess it could be used for a scam. <clears throat> Alright, but let's just... Let's move on from that one, because that's a pretty common scam. Now, another one that they will do is the stand scam. So I'm going to put my stand out, and I'm going to say, Giving pets anyone that buys. And obviously, we don't give them the pet. So, because we don't want them to fall for it, we are going to lower the price to $1 so that they don't fall for that scam. But, basically, people will offer you know some pets if you go and you buy the stuff, and then they never give you the pet. So that is, what is that, scam number three or four? All right, now the next scam is actually going to be, it's basically a failed trade. Now, for those of you that don't know what is a failed trade, it's basically people that are trying to manipulate the trade system. So like, let's say that I'm trading somebody. It's trading. And like you put in a really good offer, Neon Monkey, and you say put your best offer. He's not going with it. But basically, let's say that he put something in, you just keep messing with him. And, like, it it makes more sense whenever, like, let's say, uh, like this. Because this is a little bit easier to tell. So he's putting in a cat. Why is he, he's putting in many cats. Full grown, full grown. Except, scammed. See, don't fall for it. Easy. It's basically you're just baiting them. Now, that's really all the scams that there is in game, as for right now, that I know of. But other than that, if you know more scams, don't fall for them. That's basically the bottom line. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Hopefully you have not been scammed, but if you're watching this video, you probably have been scammed. So rip.